Hi everybody, this is Doug with another short video. This one is about implantable cardioverter defibrillators, or ICDs. It's the basics, what do you need to know? Let's call it Defibrillators 101. Now remember, I'm not a medical professional, not giving you medical advice, I'm just some guy on the internet. But I hope this video gives you a little more information so that you understand your device better and you can have a more meaningful conversation with your physician. Hope you enjoy, thanks. So why do you have, or why are you getting a defibrillator? Number of reasons, the main one is your heart rate is going too fast. So you're probably experiencing symptoms, things like shortness of breath or lightheadedness or dizziness. Maybe you were passing out or worse yet, you survived a sudden cardiac arrest. In that case, you're gonna get a defibrillator. The main job of the defibrillator is to prevent your heart from going too fast. When your heart goes too fast, it falls into ventricular tachycardia. That's a heart rate of 200 beats a minute or more. And the, the, it's beating so fast that the heart's not really pumping blood all that well. If it progresses further, you fall into ventricular fibrillation. And that's where the heart's just quivering, and that's a cardiac arrest. Survival rates of cardiac arrests are not that great. Uh, the only way to stop them is with a defibrillator. What it does is it delivers a really powerful shock to your heart. It makes it stop quivering and allows it to go back to beating. That's pretty much the basics. That's what a defibrillator does. Now, a pacemaker prevents your heart from going too slow. A defibrillator prevents your heart from uh, going too fast. The cool thing is that most defibrillators also have a built-in pacemaker. So if your heart needs a little bit of pacing support too, uh, that's available to you. The device is implanted underneath the collarbone, but above the breast line, kind of in the meaty part of your chest. Uh, it can be implanted under the skin or under the muscle, and that's something you might want to talk to your doctor about. Under the muscle is a little less visible from the outside, so some people are more comfortable with that. Uh, it is then connected, or it is also connected to these lead wires. This is a defibrillation wire. It's um, very flexible. It's uh, made out of polyurethane or silicone and has these coils on it where the electricity either comes out of or is attracted to, depending on how the device is programmed. And then this end is inserted into the heart. This has a screw-in tip. There's also leads that have uh, tines on them, but they're inserted into the heart wall where they need to go and they stick there and they stay there. Uh, those run right down into your heart and are connected to the device like this. After implant, the device will monitor your heart for a fast heart rate. That's the primary pur purpose, is to prevent a very, very fast heart rate. If you need pacing support, the defibrillator will be able to pace you because it has a built-in pacemaker, but its primary purpose is to prevent a fast heart rate. It monitors the heart, and if it sees a really concerning heart rate, most devices will first use a feature called anti-tachy pacing. It's a really, really strong pacing impulse that's trying to override the fatal rhythm that your heart is going through. If that works, your heart goes back to normal. If it doesn't, your device will deliver a shock. Now, many patients at this point are not conscious. They've passed out from the issue because their heart is not pumping blood at this point. Uh, some patients are conscious when that shock is delivered. And from what we've heard, uh, I have not experienced one, but from what I've heard, it feels like a horse kicking you in the chest. It's a temporary, very momentary thing. Everybody says after that, you don't feel any pain. So it's a one hit and then it's done. What the device does is it shocks your heart so strong that the heart stops and it allows the natural pacemaker in the heart to start beating the heart again. Uh, and also, if the natural pacemaker in the heart doesn't kick in right away, the pacemaker portion of the device will kick in and get your heart going again. That's it. Everything you need to know. Defibrillators 101. Last point. Defibrillators are exceptionally successful at what they do. If you have a defibrillator and you experience a fatal rhythm, there's a really, really good chance that you're going to survive. You might experience a shock in order for that to happen, but it's a small price to pay. They're really good at what they do. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you subscribe to my page and check out my other videos where I talk about things like airport security and magnets. Otherwise, hope you have a great day. Thanks.